Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to this video. Now I said I was going to do it, and I wasn't kidding, unfortunately. Now, today we are going to talk about Jinder Mahal as WWE Champion. Okay, I'm not a fan. I'm not. And that's all we got time for. Thanks for watching. Peace out. No, I'm, I'm, I'm messing. I'm messing. But my, my issues with this are kind of like twofold. For one, a month and a half ago, he was a loser who probably didn't even get TV time most of the time. He was on TV, he was losing. I mean, why would you care about this guy? Now suddenly he is the WWE Champion. Now, for those of you who are unaware, I would assume this is just to capitalize on the Indian market. Now, my, my gripe with this is that basically he is getting this title because of the fact he's Indian. Which, it, it, it's aside from the point, but it throws out everything. It's like, instead of building people up, I mean, when we just want to slap the belt on somebody, we just slap the belt on somebody. It's the same thing they did to an extent with Bray Wyatt, but at least Bray Wyatt felt like an upper mid-card guy at that point. Jinder felt like a jobber. And the fact he is now a WWE Champion kind of throws the balance out the window. I mean, if you look at it right now, your two world champions are Jinder Mahal and Brock Lesnar. I mean, at any point, in theory, you should be able to have it to where your two world champions have a match, and you don't know who's going to win. Because in theory, they should be the two highest guys in the company. Now, say a month ago, okay, you would have Randy Orton versus Brock Lesnar, which is very one-sided, but that's also because it's Brock Lesnar. Two months ago, you would have Bray Wyatt, and you'd have Goldberg, which would be really one-sided because it's Goldberg. Okay, I'm backing myself into a corner here. Four months ago, you'd have John Cena or AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens has beaten both of these guys at pay-per-view. But also, they've, they've held their own. That should be the balance between your world champions. And for some reason, Jinder, he's not going to help that balance at all. He's just a jobber. Now, all this being said, you continue to look at it, and now he has the main WWE title. This is not the Universal title where, frankly, nobody cares about it. This is the WWE title. So for all of you who complain about prestige, this is my argument that it helps you guys. Because this is a title that only a handful of people have won. Okay, don't believe me. Okay, well, people like, I don't know, Owen Hart, Rick Rude, they never won this title. People like Chris Benoit never won this title. He won the other title. Jack Swagger never touched this title. You see what I'm saying? Greg Khali didn't touch this title. This was supposed to be the, the sacred title. Think about the list of people who haven't won this title. And now you are in essence saying that Jinder Mahal the guy who was a jobber a month ago is better than these guys. I think that's why I'm so irritated by this. It's not heel heat. It's just, it's like everything you know about the company just kind of, the company kind of flipped you the bird and was like, you're just going to have to deal with it. This is equivalent to Vince McMahon winning it, except Vince McMahon actually was relevant for a while before he won it. This, this is actually the equivalent to uh, David Arquette or Vince Russo winning this belt. People who had, well, the WCW title, who had no business touching this belt, yet they did. So why are we supposed to be okay with this? Because gender, I mean, I'm not saying work rate matters, but he's not a good worker. His character is solid, but even then it's not that great. His mic skills are passable to good, but even then I wouldn't be upset if there was a logical progression. Like the thing I keep thinking back to is a month and a half ago, WrestleMania, he was in the final two. It was him and Mojo. Now remember, when it came down to just them, just about everybody was like, okay, Mojo is winning this. And now he's your WWE Champion. What happens when Mojo shows up? Hmm? Is he number one contender? 
because I mean he's he's beat him. They almost had a feud going. I just I, I don't get it. This is a very uh, knee jerk thing. And if the goal is to be a transitional champion with Randy Orton getting his rematch, then does Orton win it back? If so, this is just a publicity stunt. This isn't a transitional champion thing. This is a publicity stunt. And at which point, why? Why is this needed? Is this really going to increase the market in India in a year? Is Jinder going to still be a main event talent? Or will he be in the jobber pile again? This is the thing. And I mentioned this on my SmackDown review. Because you're skating a really thin line right now. Because the story is that the fans don't like him because he's different. And that's, that's fine and good. But in the real world, if that is a story you send out, and the fans are legitimately booing him, then you have people who don't watch wrestling thinking, wow, wrestling fans are pieces of shit. And that is the message that gets pushed. That is not good publicity. So you have to be careful in this storyline. Because, frankly, you goof, and then we become the bad guys as wrestling fans for not being happy about this. Most of us aren't happy with this for the same reason I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy with it because gender is not relevant. If you told me two months ago gender would be WWE Champion, I would laugh at you. And the people who are still fine with this, yet like people like, I don't know, Bray Wyatt, and AJ Styles, this was supposed to be the long-term plan? I don't think so. So, think about this. They couldn't have had Bray Wyatt do this? They had to take the belt off AJ Styles to give it to Cena, to give it to Wyatt, so that way Wyatt can give it to Orton, so that way Orton can do this for gender? It just seems like so many extra steps. You could have had AJ do it, where you could have probably gotten a decent match out of him. You could have had Cena do it, where, holy shit, that would have actually meant something. Especially with Cena's character always being a really American blue blood guy. Not blue blood, I, I don't know. An American character. Or we could have Bray Wyatt do it. But the belt gets passed around like nobody's business. And that, that's the other thing that pisses me off about this. Because now if you've looked at it for this year, okay, AJ had the belt for the first month, and Cena took it for two weeks, dropped it to Wyatt, so that way Wyatt could drop it about two months later to Orton, who could then drop it a month and a half later to Jinder. And if the plan is to give the belt back to Orton, so a month later, Jinder can give it to Orton, so that way it'll be the end of June, more than likely Orton won't hold it past SummerSlam, so we'll have it for two months, and he'll be passing it off to, I don't know, Baron Corbin, who will then be passing it off to AJ Styles. It just... I'm, I'm not failing it. There's a lot wrong with this. And, and again, I have no problem with Jinder having the belt. Because frankly, who has the belt doesn't matter. It really doesn't. And again, this is somebody who likes Reigns, who likes Miz. I like the people who ne not, aren't necessarily favorable throughout all time. But at the same point, okay, I would have been 100% fine with this if Jinder had been built to this, but he hasn't been. This was basically a Vince Russo-esque swerve, and that's probably the best way to end this.